music stops? What happens when the music stops? What happens when the music stops? The mental changes the physical. It's all about patterns. It just means that we'll have to start with stronger doses to begin with. I like the patterns. Progressions. I can see them. Then you just might be a player. What have you seen? Seen a battle? What have you seen? Seen a battle? What have you seen? What have you seen? What have you seen? Seen a battle? Seen a battle? Seen a battle? Life seems chaotic, but in fact, it's just an infinitely complex pattern. You realise you're searching for the code to life. It's not perfected yet. But... If what you're saying is right, then it assumes that we are simply complex machines. That we may not have a soul, certainly not any free will. I'm sorry, are they important? Certainly not any free will. I'm sorry, certainly are they important? Certainly not any free will. Certainly not any free will. Certainly not any free will. Are they important? Are they important? You're perfectly normal. For a machine. For a machine. For a machine. For a machine. The mental changes the physical. It's all about patterns.
was about. Said was about. Was about. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. You're perfectly normal. Your test results are back. Well, there's no need to worry. I know you. It just means that we'll have to start with stronger doses to begin with. Zach, this is a course of Mozart and Brahms. Marie, pack a bell. One step. This is a course of Mozart and Brahms. Marie, pack a bell. This is a course of Mozart and Brahms. This is a course of Mozart and Brahms. Marie, pack a bell. Marie, one step. Pack a bell. One step. Pack a bell. Marie, one step. Pack a bell. One step. here has worked out the antidote and the antidote is confusing
first composition. The first piece that truly immunized us against the book. Since then, there have been many. When you recognize a melody you've never heard before, that'll be one. Tapping into our collective subconscious. Most complex music just interferes enough for the book to make it unreliable. So useless. Why was it a secret? It wasn't. It just fell out of history by mutual consent. Why was it a secret? It wasn't. It just fell out of history by mutual secret? consent. It wasn't. Why was it? It just fell out of history by mutual consent. It just fell out of history by mutual consent. It just fell out of history by mutual consent. It just means that we'll have to start with stronger doses to begin with.
to start with stronger doses to begin with. The mental changes the physical. It's all about patterns. What is it? A code I extrapolated from Mozart. It lays underneath all his work, invisible. I thought all this time you were writing music. I believe it's the code that, that governs everything. This universe comes from one simple code, repeating infinitely. This universe comes from one simple code. This universe comes from one. This universe comes from one. Repeating infinite, repeating infinite, making it infinitely complex but utterly predictable. Making it infinitely complex but utterly making it infinitely complex. Making it infinitely utterly predictable. Utterly predictable. You're perfectly normal. You're perfectly normal. Imagination. We still have free will. We still have souls. We still, we still have, have imagination. We still have we souls. Still have free will. We still have imagination. We still have souls. We still have we still souls. have imagination. We still have imagination. It just means that we'll have to start with stronger doses to begin with. So, 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 what I'm feeling now is it real? Is it real? Is it real? From what we now know, what you feel is not due to any form of manipulation. It's further than that, I cannot comment. Technology's never been my strong point, but we're all getting used to this, aren't we? From what we now, from what we now know, 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 from what we now know.
that song? What happens when the music stops? 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 I just have no words, ladies and gentlemen. I really don't know what to say. If you believe the official narrative of anything that the government or media tells you, you're brain dead. You need to get off the hot pockets. You need to get off the Twinkies and wake the hell up. You want to go break something? Break the TVs. Break the TVs, please. Break out of the mind control. If you want to break something, break out of the mind control. Break out of the spell they have you under. Come on. Break out of the spell they have you under. Break out Come of the on. spell they have you under. Come on.
This is what they want. Order out of chaos. This is what they want. Order out of chaos. they want. Order out of chaos. TV channel briefly goes off air to encourage viewers to clap for NHS. Citizen, 
Go outside and publicly show your support for the regime. We're all in this together. Together we can flatten the curve. Stay safe. Protect. Save lives. Together we can flatten the curve. Stay safe. Protect. Save lives. Together we can flatten the curve. Stay safe. Protect. Save lives. 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 You need to get off the hot pockets. You need to get off the Twinkies. The Twinkies. The Twinkies. The Twinkies. The Twinkies. The Twinkies. The Twinkies.
This is what they want. Order out of chaos. Coronavirus was all around me. Who wasn't wearing a mask? Who aren't wearing gloves? Some lady was standing five and a half feet away from me. I don't know what to do anymore. Who do I listen to? Do I listen to the experts on TV? Or the experts on Facebook? Do I listen to the experts on TV? Do I listen to the experts on Facebook? Or the experts on Facebook? Or the experts on Facebook?
you're brain dead. You need to get off the Hot Pockets. You need to get off the Twinkies. You're brain dead. You need to get off the Hot Pockets. You need to get off the Twinkies. You're brain dead. You need to get off the Hot Pockets. You need to get off the Twinkies. There's a big pile of toy. Um, so like you said, you know, everybody should be a legend and, and, and we, we all are as long as we, as long as we step up into what we have and have that faith and understand that what we are essentially doing God's work and when we have the balls to do that and it'll only show itself when you have the balls to take that step. It takes courage because for most people that takes like it's a leap of faith, right? It's like, geez, will I be supported if I take that step and do what I, I know that I'm here to do? If you take that leap of faith and that's why it's called a leap of faith, and it's a tr- it's true, you know, that God is there to actually support that, but it's only potential. He doesn't just reach out and grab you and pick you up and go, I'm going to take you from here and place you here. You've got to do it. You've got to be the one that steps up and does that. And the reward is that you are supported when you can take that step. It's there as potential, but you have to reach out and grab it. It's important to know that the rewards are there if you do choose to step into who you are and to realize your power and your gift and your value in this world. To realize your power and your gift and your value you should realize your power and your gift and your value you realize your gift and your value and your value in this world earth apple earth apple oh earth apple earth apple oh will you be mine earth apple earth apple oh will you be mine and you have the only lovely right there the only letterly never fails the only letterly
there's more to life than that. When you see that the real wealth is all in here, it's not what you've got out there, and that security comes from a faith in a faith in yourself and a faith in what put you here and what you're here to do. You don't need the security of a government and you know rules and regulations and all those sorts of things. And you just don't need it. Uh, there's no shame in saying uh, you know support us because we're doing good shit, good shit. Oh, it's so loved. Yeah, it's so sweet. The only letter in Earth Apple, Earth Apple. Oh, will you be mine? Fucking balls. I love it. Fucking balls. Love it. Fucking balls. Love it. Fucking balls. Love it. Balls. Fucking balls. Fucking love it. Fucking balls. Fucking love it. 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 Love it.
no shame in saying, uh, you know, support us because we're doing good shit. You know, support us because we're doing good shit. You know, support us because we're doing good shit. You know, support us because we're doing you know shit. Support us because we're doing you know good shit. Support us because we're doing 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 good shit.
I hope you're feeling healthy down there. I hope you're feeling healthy while you're locked up under curfew. Deprived of sunlight, being told you can exercise one hour a day, being told you have to cover your face. I hope you're feeling really healthy right now. All right, I hope you're feeling healthy while the elderly who built this nation die alone. All right, with no one to hold their hand, dehydrated, not seeing their family, not seeing their loved ones, not seeing the people that they care for, who they raised to build this nation. I hope you're feeling healthy and safe in your little box while you're locked up at home and you can't go out on the street at night. And you're told you can go to the shop once a day. I hope you're feeling really fucking healthy right now. Every single person in Victoria needs to wake the fuck up immediately. Because this curfew, there is a coup going down in Victoria right now. Do you know how many planes from China have landed at Tullamarine Airport in the last 48 hours? Guys, there is night works going on extensively all over Victoria because they're installing 5G and biometrics and they're flying in all the people from China who you've been sold out to while you're cowering at home watching idiot box telling you about some fucking fake pandemic while you get sold out right now you are being lied to your television is lying to you and that fucking dad andrews that traitor has sold you and your family and he plans to inject every single man woman and child against their will because he is following orders i don't know what it's going to take for australia to wake the fuck up but you are down there carrying like fucking pathetic little wimps with your masks on and your face is covered while our elderly die while he locks you up in your home and flies in delegates and AI experts to install the biometric social credit system that you are all going to be a part of unless you wake up and you lie down there and you obey and you cower with your fucking mask and you can't even see each other. You need to wake up. We are under attack Australia right the fuck now. Every single one of us. If you're locked up in your home, too scared to go out, too scared to speak out, criticising the people who try to wake you up to the fact that our country is under attack. They've been burning us, they've been spraying us, they want to inject us. What's it going to take for you to wake the fuck up now? What's it going to take for you to wake the fuck up now? What's it going to take for you to wake the fuck up now? What's it going to take for you to wake the fuck up now? What's it going to take for you to wake the fuck up now? What is going to be your decision? The word utopia actually means nowhere, nowhere, nowhere.
il 26 febbraio, ma il 9 marzo la scienza, la scienza qua evocata, diceva che il virus era poco più che un'influenza. Quella scienza è quella a cui si è ispirato questo governo. È detto, è stato detto, è documentato, è stato detto, non mentite. Allora dite la verità, non fate di questa l'aula della menzogna. Almeno qui si applica il principio di Gian Battista Vico, verum ipsum factum, verum ipsum factum, verum ipsum factum. So you can expect that we will have transmission uh, from time to time, and that's just the way it is. We've got to accept that this is the new world order. The new world order. The new world order. As your trusted health authority, I'll share with you why you should be more scared than ever before. But first, there's been a new twist in the COVID crisis. We just published research on the CDC website that shows only 6% of COVID deaths that we've been reporting to you were caused by COVID alone. 94% of COVID deaths had an average of 2.6 comorbidities. That means of the 161,392 COVID deaths that we've been shoving in your face, only 9,210 were legitimate COVID deaths. So does that mean we've been deceiving you and inflating the COVID death count by 152,182 deaths? Absolutely not. Because we genuinely don't believe it. Because we genuinely, because we genuinely don't believe in math. Look, here it is! And as this new information that proves that COVID is far less deadly than we've been trying to get you to believe mean you shouldn't live with intense fear anymore? Absolutely not. As your trusted health authorities, we consider our original estimates of over 2 million COVID deaths in the U.S. to be a far more accurate number than the 9,200 deaths that have actually happened. Than the 9,200 deaths that have actually happened. Only 6% of reported COVID deaths actually died from COVID?
great time to discount people that speak of this new information with a well thought out, emotionally charged comment rebutting something they didn't say. Like rebutting something they didn't say. Like rebutting something they didn't say. Like. Oh, so you think you don't even care about the people that did die of COVID? You glad they're dead? You just want sick people to die? <laughs> well, because they said nothing in the feedback. Your emotionally fueled abstract assumption is obviously a more accurate expression of what they meant than what they expressed. A more accurate expression of what they meant than what they expressed. Look, here it is. Only six percent of your quoted COVID deaths were actually COVID deaths. Only six percent of your cause of COVID, because our science fiction is yet to prove otherwise, and new information is the new outdated information, so you'll want to stay with the facts, is the new outdated information, is the new, so you'll want to stay with the facts, so you'll want to stay with the facts. So why should you be more scared than ever before? Because statistically speaking, your chances of not dying from COVID are 99.96%. And that means if you're in the 0.04% that does die from COVID, you have a 100% chance of dying. Take a look at the numbers. You have a 100% chance of dying. You have a Take a look at the numbers. Take a look at the numbers. And luckily that means we're still justified in trying to ruin your lives to save your lives. In an effort to do so, please pay close attention to the COVID death count that will continue to run across the screen for you. COVID death count that will continue to run across your screen for you. Only 6% of reported COVID deaths actually died from COVID? Only 6% of reported COVID deaths actually died from COVID? Only 6% of reported COVID deaths actually died from COVID? Only 6% of reported COVID deaths actually died from COVID? Look, here it is! Look, here it is!
died from COVID?
you can stay under your warm, wet blanket of fear, we'll neglect to adjust the death count for accuracy with respect to this new information. And we'll also continue to take away your rights for your protection. And just like how a woman abused by your husband might say, he only hits me because he loves me, you can repeat, they're only taking away my rights to protect me. And you'll continue to surrender your rights because you're scared. And you'll continue to surrender your rights. And you'll continue to surrender your rights because you're scared. Now that we've confused any clarity you might have been feeling on the new COVID death count information, you can go back to sleep. Please stay tuned for more updates on what you should be thinking and feeling. Please stay tuned for more updates on Please what stay you should be thinking and feeling. On what you should be thinking and feeling. Only 6% of reported COVID deaths actually died from COVID? Only 6% of reported COVID?